I don't like to use a lot of product, but um, the main ones I use is probably Moroccan oil for my hair after I wash it. Um, keeps it nice and shiny. Um, also Chanel foundation, just if I'm going to events or wherever, but I usually try not to wear a lot of makeup. No, can't wear makeup on court or else everything's gonna go down my body. <laughs> not a good idea. Um, but uh, usually after, like for the press conference or something, um, I'll just use a Canabo uh, mascara and something little. The best makeup is a hat <laughs> to cover everything. But um, usually um, I like Canabo products. So I use the Canabo concealer pen or um, just a little bit of lip gloss that's just very natural. Less is more. It usually depends on what length my hair is at the time. So if you know my hair is a little bit short, I usually have to pin it up. So I put it in a ponytail and then you know make sure that there's not a lot of hair around. So I usually use just a couple of pins and that's it. But I don't have anyone do it for me. I'm very bad with protecting my hair, but I do use sunscreen. <laughs> so I'm protecting my face, so that's a good thing. I do a lot of stretching. I cool down on the bike for like 20 minutes. Um, I do a lot of, you know, I travel with a physical therapist, so he usually, you know, works on, you know, parts of my body that are either sore or tired or that need help or that are injured. Um, so I spend a lot of time on the massage table, and although it sounds very relaxing, it is not. <laughs> but um, that's, that's pretty much it, and then have a good dinner. And then, you know, sleep is also very important because that's a big part of the recovery process. I love food, so I never usually skip a meal, and I do have a lot of things in between. But um, I'm, you know, I'm pretty smart with what I eat, especially days before the matches. You know, making sure you have the right amount of protein and carbs, and um, you know, obviously staying healthy. But if there's like a cookie in front of me and I want it, you know, I'm not gonna not have it, <laughs> you know, because then I'll want it even more. But um, I, I mean, I do watch what I eat, but not too, too much. Because I spent the first seven years of my life in Russia, I got really accustomed to the Russian flavors and um, of all their traditional dishes. So we had a lot of soups and a lot of different salads and stews. And so still, when I have that to this day, that's that's kind of the yummiest food for me. We have a lot of like s dumplings that are that have different stuffings and um, either with just cheese or meat. And um, you know, the dumpling themselves are made by hand, so the dough is really good. Yeah, I love sweets. It's kind of an issue. Um, but I, re I love red velvet cupcakes and chocolate and um, caramel and everything that's not supposed to be good for you. <laughs> I try to drink a lot of water because that's really important, especially when you're flying and traveling a lot. So I try to drink a couple of liters on the plane, um, which I usually don't do, but <laughs> but I have to try. Um, and then during practices, it's very important to stay hydrated, especially when we go to warmer climates. Um, so it's a big part of my hydration, yeah.